Dr. Prosco, so I understand that um, women in, in general are more prone to um, having thyroid issues. Is that mm -hmm. the case? And if it is, why, why is that? Sure, yeah, women are definitely more likely to have thyroid issues. The reason is that uh, most thyroid issues are uh, secondary to autoimmune diseases, and women in general have more autoimmune diseases than men. Gotcha, and are they more prone after pregnancy? Is that, is that a correct statement? Yeah, it's funny. So we see a lot of thyroid issues after pregnancy. And, um, you know, I think what happens during pregnancy, your body uh, downregulates the immune system uh, so that you tolerate the pregnancy. And afterward, things can go haywire. So a lot of times we see things, um, you know, presenting after pregnancy. It also may be that women um, are seeking uh, medical help more, you know, they're seeing doctors more right during and after the pregnancy. So we may catch it more after the pregnancies. But it could be something with the autoimmune uh, regulation why uh, we see so much more after pregnancy yeah so that's a good point that a lot of people may not know they have an issue with of their course, thyroid yeah. so there's a simple blood test that can be ordered mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit about that blood test sure yeah the, the blood test that we order is the the TSH which is actually the the hormone that we were talking about that comes from the pituitary gland it's a very sensitive test um, and if that's uh, normal then the thyroid should be functioning well and if it's abnormal it will tell us the function the thyroid is over or under functioning the funny thing about the TSH is that it's the opposite of the function of the gland. So a lot of times people can get confused by that. A TSH that's high usually indicates hypothyroid or underactive thyroid, whereas the TSH that's low can indicate hyper or overactive thyroid. Gotcha, so that can get a little confusing. It can, right? it can, yeah, so absolutely. is this blood test part of an annual checkup? Is that something that's normally done for a well check or? Usually not. So usually the TSH is not um, something that's automatically included in an annual checkup. Uh, the guidelines do recommend, especially in women, to start checking the thyroid at least once every five years starting at age 35 but it's not something that they do on a yearly basis unless um, you know you ask for it specifically or you have symptoms that may be concerning for thyroid issues for the doctor.